All right, guys, it's time I finally let the cat out of the bag. Well, there's no real easy way to say this. Uh, there's no nice way to say it. There's no happy way to say it. So I'm just gonna say it. Uh, the Type R is getting parted out. That's right. Um, I think probably some of you had your suspicions. Your suspicions were true. Um, I'll go more into why I decided to do this a little bit later in the video, but uh, we're we're at here. We're here with Dr. Drew right now. Um, I felt like it was appropriate to do the video here just because of how much work Dr. Drew's put into this car. Monumental uh, contribution that he's had to the build of this vehicle. I felt it was only fair that, um, well, fair or unfair, it's kind of uh, brutal that he has to now disassemble the car that he put together. But. Um, you know, it's 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 a tough moment. It I didn't arrive at this decision lightly, and we'll talk about that a little bit more. But first, uh, I want to show you guys the car. There it is, and as you can see, a lot of the stuff has already been pulled off. All the aerodynamics are back to stock. You know, with the exception of uh, the canard on the front bumper, the splitter is gone. Even the fog light, the grill, the spoon grill I had, that's off. A lot of the stuff is sold. Some of the stuff is still for sale, but uh, largely sold. You can tell this is my car because there's the sticker from the last track day. Uh, of course, my windshield banner, Acuity windshield banner, my track number still on the side windshield. There's still remnants of mods. The HKS intercooler is still in there. Uh, you know, one of my favorite mods, the AP. Racing kit is still on in there. The uh, JRZ coilovers are still on the car, but all of that is going away very, very soon. So let's go for a drive, and uh, we'll talk about why I decided to part ways with a Type R. Let's head out. Baby, keep the light on for me. I'm coming home. I got you forever, wherever I go I feel like I'm high Oh, and I wouldn't change the way you got me jumping through hoops All the wishes in the world and I wish for you I feel like I'm All right, so let's talk for a minute why I decided to part ways with the Type R. So, this journey began with for those of you who have been with the channel long enough I had a 2017 GT 350 uh, Shelby Mustang uh, it was a two-door amazing car uh, at that point I really hadn't hadn't done any tracking in any of my cars at all and so you know I never really got to fully experience that car uh, at the level I wanted to not only that but I was about to have my firstborn child so it made sense at that point for me to look for a four-door. But I wanted a four-door that was gonna be fun, have plenty of cargo space, uh, and I didn't really know that I was gonna be tracking the car when I got the Type R, but when I got into the community of uh, local Type R owners in, in Northern California, 
Um, I went to one track day and that was it. I was absolutely bit by the track bug and I went every chance I, I could. Um, and you guys know that, you know, the, the build process of this vehicle and my philosophy behind how I built this car uh, was to lower my lap times but still maintain enough daily drivable usage so I can use it with the baby seat, still have air conditioning, still have my full OEM interior, still drive on street tires, etc., etc., etc. Well, fast forward to probably winter of 2020. Plenty of track days under my belt. I had owned the car nearly two years at that point, enjoying it, every bit of it, still modifying it, still tracking it, still daily driving it. Uh, I had goals on track as far as times were concerned. For Sonoma, I wanted to be sub 150, which I did before fall of 2020. Um, I've been battling and fighting like hell to get to sub 140 at Laguna Seca forever. You guys know that that was a long time battle for me in this car. And mad respect to anybody who has managed to do it in any car because sub 140 at Laguna Seca is absolutely no joke. Uh, and, and you guys you know the ones who have been with me long enough you know what what a big struggle that was for me and ultimately what a what a big sense of accomplishment it was for me once i finally got it in the winter of uh, 2020. that was effectively that was effectively my last track day for 2020. Uh, fast forward to early 2021 uh, I had big ambitions to track even more in 2021 than I did in 2020. And then I got the news that we are having a second child. So between having a second child and then now our place being too small, we had the plan to uh, move out of our first home, get it remodeled, put it on the market, sell it. In between all that, we moved to a temporary one bedroom apartment, put all of our stuff in storage, including camera gear and all types of other stuff. Uh, got, the car, got the house remodeled, sold it. Luckily found a brand new home. Doing all this with a two year old toddler and a very pregnant wife. Um, I tried like hell to squeeze a track day in where I could. It just wasn't happening. I finally managed to get one track day scheduled uh, in March with the boys. A lot of us were there. It was at Thunder Hill East, which is where I have my very, very first track day in the Type R. So uh, poetic justice, if you will. My goal there, which I hadn't at the time yet achieved, was sub two minutes at Thunder Hill East Bypass. Again, that's a big achievement that I wasn't as familiar with like I was Laguna Seca. Um, hot day, anxious, and I still managed to get the sub two. So all in all, really, every goal that I set out to achieve in this car, I achieved. But in doing that, I've modded it to the point where, I mean, for, for most people, and even my high level of tolerance for NVH, this car just surpassed that level of comfort for me um, to be used daily. Now, being that I have a second child on the way, uh, this definitely has the space to have two car seats and cargo and and strollers and all that kind of stuff but i felt like it was now to the point where it was compromised as a family daily driver so 
all in all, after knowing that I've achieved all the lap times that I have, and by the way, you know, fastest uh, Type R in Northern California with full OEM interior and street tires, no upgraded turbo, no upgraded fuel system to lay down those lap times at those three, three tracks in Northern California. No one has done it. So I'm very, very proud of that achievement. Uh, but again, I think it, it got me to a point on this car where it just wasn't making as much sense as a daily driver or a family vehicle anymore. So my goal moving forward, you know, once I get this car all the way parted out and uh, all the parts sold and the car sold, which should be very soon, my goal is to now have two separate cars. Instead of one car that does both and compromising one for the other, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a daily driver, uh, four-door sedan, just something that's gonna be comfortable to drive on a daily basis and put the kids in, put the baby seats in, put the stroller in. I still want it to be fun, but I'm not gonna go crazy on that car. I, I don't want it to be the hard riding track monster and beast and lap, you know, lap record setting beast that this car has become. That's not the goal for that car. And then I wanna have a separate car that I can have fun with on the weekend, but still track and achieve more lap time goals on, on every track I can get on. So that's the plan guys uh moving forward you know i i know you know just talking to people in the community i know some of you uh that that already know that i'm parting this car out i know a lot of you are sad i am too you know i definitely have an emotional connection to this car um you know and and being a car guy i i think i'm lying to myself by saying I'm gonna buy a car and keep it forever because I've told myself about probably a dozen cars that I've owned and it's never happened. Um, having said that, I, I can really feel uh, a, a large amount of gratitude and appreciation for all the people who have been a part of this build, uh, my sponsors, Acuity, and, and many others who have stepped up to uh, help out with the build on this car. I can't thank you enough because without you, none of the goals that I set for for this car would have been possible. Um, I do have uh, the two cars major announcement on what my next project car is going to be. Stay tuned for that, guys. Uh, I can't thank you enough. And please, to the Type R community, just know and understand that I'm still here for you guys. I, I did a lot of the things that I did on this car for you so you can see what works and what doesn't um, and if you did want to track your car what I personally believe is the best way to achieve that without having to break into turbo upgrades and building the motor and you know just going way past being able to turn it back to stock if you really wanted to so that will be my goal for the next track car as well um, I want to build track cars that you, if you really wanted to, you could turn back to OEM, but achieve the lowest lap times possible given those parameters. So um, thanks guys from the bottom of my heart. I can't thank you guys enough. I hope you'll stay with me and continue to watch and follow my journey moving forward. Uh, it will be worth it. I can promise you that. Uh, for the Type R community, thanks again. I will be here if you have any questions. You know I always try to answer everything for you guys. I'm reachable through DM, Facebook, Instagram, all that stuff. And I always, always, always respond. So uh, if you need any help, I'm here for you. Moving forward on the next one, I'm going to be doing the same thing. So thank you. Thank you very much. As always... <laughs> Stay hungry, stay fast, stay tuned. I'm Michael Baxi for the last time in the Honda Civic Type R in its current form, and I'm out. 
No more talking about it The way it is, the way it is It's no mystery There's no getting around it When you're here, when you're here We got chemistry We light up when we ignite We are stars in a darkened sky When you leave Don't forget to remember Don't forget to remember me To keep your touch, keep your touch In my memory I try not to regret it What could have been, should have been If you would stay with me When you leave